Good morning, and welcome to Daylight with Dean, number 188, on October 21st, 2020. Good morning, and welcome to Daylight with Dean. I hear a slight bit of static, and again, have no idea why. <laughs> I'm so grateful that you're here with me this morning, and... Um, Love that we get to share this time together every, um, every morning. And uh, let's start it off with a great sip of coffee. My first one of the day. Sometimes there just aren't words. Oh, wow. Well, it rained yesterday. <laughs> it's crazy. They, they said it was going to rain Monday and Tuesday, and, and good grief, didn't it rain Monday and Tuesday? <laughs> Tuesday felt like it was going to stop raining. Uh, and then went to uh, my daughter's soccer game at four, and it decided to rain the whole time. And <laughs> because it felt like it was not going to rain, <laughs> I, I was not totally prepared. <laughs> yes, I had I had uh, some towels to wipe the seat down with, and a towel to sit on, and and all that good stuff. But I forgot my umbrella at home. So in the office, I keep a very dated pirate umbrella, like 15-year-old pirate umbrella, just for emergency. Well, I guess yesterday was that emergency because I took it from the office and went, and it was a small umbrella, and there were four of us. Leslie and my two oldest daughters sitting there watching her last... Uh, soccer game and no, next to last I'm sorry today's her last soccer game at seven and it should not be raining and it was it was funny it was just like misting enough that you couldn't not use the umbrella Leslie had a full-blown poncho um, my oldest two daughters were just quite content with whatever coverage they got with the umbrella or not but it was um, <laughs> it was wet, and uh, if you, I don't know if I've talked about this on daylight, but uh, for me, one of the things I hate most in life is getting rained on. Now you would think somebody who scuba dove for golf balls, rain or shine, nonstop for the number of years that I did, that water in that state would not bother me, but when those rain drops are hitting me it just it just feels like a barrage of bbs or something i just i just have a um a strong dislike for getting rained on so um that was that and and that was more of a mist than a rain but it still was raining um so it was our last soccer game tonight Yesterday was her next to the last soccer game, and it was, a, it was a great game. They played McKeesport, which is an out-of-conference game. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if we've played them in the past or not, but they looked uh, comparable in their skill set when they were warming up. Coach said that they were quite confident. The other team was quite confident. The visiting team was quite confident in themselves and that they were going to win. I don't know how he perceived that or if somebody said something, but um, um, our girls really uh, felt a little bit like the Steelers' Cleveland Brown game Sunday. Uh, it was 3 nothing at halftime, and by the end of the game, it was 9 nothing. And 
it was um, so bad that our coach put in all the bench players um, in the second half. Oh wait, we only have one uh, one sub, so our bench players played the whole time. <laughs> Have you ever been to a sporting event where the winning team is crushing the losing team and still refuses to put in his bench players? <laughs> it's at those times you want to strangle the coach. Strangle's a strong word. Say something not nice to the coach. <laughs> well, that never happens at Valley. <laughs> so yesterday was the first time in my history as a soccer parent, that a uh, victory was that guaranteed that uh, early into the second half, and it was uh, it was just amazing. Uh, the refs didn't make any bad calls. The I mean, it was when you're winning, <laughs> you experience the game on a whole different dimension. It it it's funny. It's crazy. And <clears throat> near the end of the game, when it was 7-0, seven, seven um, my daughter plays defense. She's the last defender before the goalie, and she's the only senior on the team. And I noticed she was getting a lot of shooting opportunities. And I'm like, why is, why is she getting a lot of shooting opportunities? And then I, then I noticed that she was standing right in front of the goal at the top of the box and the girls just kept kicking her the ball kept kicking her the ball kept kicking her the ball trying to get her to score because they wanted her to score and i'm like oh they're honoring her as the senior on the team they want her to score because she scored last year when she didn't play so uh deep on defense but uh playing this deep on defense she's she never has any scoring opportunities per se uh, she'll have some free kick scoring opportunities and that kind of thing, but uh, she finally got her goal, and it was it was an exuberance we've not had this year yet. So um, it was quite quite fun. So if you uh, if you're around um, if you're around this evening and don't have anything to do and want to come and watch Ruby's last soccer game at Valley. As a senior, it's at 7 p.m. Now, I have to tell you, all fall, all of our soccer games were free, no entrance cost. And then last night, they had, they had a person there taking money, and it was $5. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was almost as jarring as when my kids started playing middle school sports and they charged for entrance. I was like, what? <laughs> so we, I, I have to shift my focus into that we got into all of the previous eight games for free or however many they played and just be joyful. So if you, uh, if you would like to come watch Ruby play her final senior uh, soccer game, it's at 7 p.m. and bring $5. <laughs> Now, luckily, the concession stand's not open, so you can't spend money anywhere else. But um, wow, it was uh, it was definitely a fun evening, and hard to uh, hard to understand how vastly different experience the game as a parent is when your team is winning that that significantly. I've never been to a game that the refs coach so well. <laughs> Okay, they missed a handball in the box early on when it was 0-0, zero, zero, but uh, other than that. Mm -hmm. So then we came home, and we all wanted to get pizza from one of our favorite pizza places in town, and uh, but we were deferring to Ruby because our senior year, next to the last game, scored a goal. You picked the choice, and she wanted gnocchi from Capri up in Natrona Heights. So we wanted to go and eat in. She had so much homework she couldn't. It was a order and pick up uh, deal. So uh, Leslie and I uh, called the order in, went up and it was a lot of food and it was delicious. So uh, 
my friend took me to Capri about 10 years ago, and I didn't think much of it. We went for lunch, and I, I got wings. Like, who gets wings at an Italian restaurant? But their gnocchi, their lasagna, their pizza, I mean, the whole, the whole, their wings are just wings, but the rest of the menu is, oh, <laughs> out <laughs> of this world. Outstanding. So that is quite, uh, it was quite an evening at the Ward House, and then we, um, the World Series started last night. And I, I'm a big World Series fan. I love watching the last series of baseball games of the year. And Tyler Glasnow, the former Pirates pitcher, uh, started for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, and he pitched exactly like he did in Pittsburgh, and they lost. <laughs> um, I don't know what the final score was. I think it was eight to two last I looked. Eight to one. I can't. I can't remember. But I fell asleep watching it. I woke up at eleven thirty, and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to watch the last two innings. So I felt like I'd slept for five hours. Crawled in bed, and I'm like, oh, I got another five hours to sleep. I'm so excited. So. When my alarm went off at 5.05 this morning, I was less excited because it did not feel like I slept 10 hours <laughs> and slept like I felt five, slept five. So, um, but uh, it's a good day. It's a good morning. It's a great opportunity to embrace the gift of this day. And I hope that you do that every day that we wake up with breath in our lungs, air in our lungs, are able to breathe. It's a, it's a gift from the Lord. And I pray that this gift from Him is embraced by you, appreciated by you, and that you treasure it, cherish it, and head into it with an awareness of God's goodness, his love, his faithfulness, that you're willing to share his goodness, his faithfulness, and his love with others. And I pray that um, your day today is filled with God's faithfulness, his blessings, that you notice his goodness throughout the day. And if you're in the midst of suffering, that you will get a glimpse of his goodness in the midst of that suffering. And I pray that you have a great day today. Uh, let's begin our day together with a word of prayer. Um, let's pray now. Dear Lord, I'm so thankful for the opportunity to uh, go to the gym this morning to uh, navigate all that is ahead today. Father, I thank you for each person here with me today. I pray, Lord, that you would bless them and watch over them. Lord, I ask that whatever they face today, that they would go through it with grace, that they would uh, experience joy throughout their day and that they would commit and choose to be a blessing to others not in a way that is faking it but in a way that is embracing all of your faithfulness and love and goodness that has been demonstrated and choosing to pass that on to others lord i just ask that you would watch over each person here today may october 21st 2020 be a great day in their life, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Good day, everybody. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. God bless you. Bye-bye.